at St Bees. It is the middle of September. It's six o'clock in the morning and the seagulls are chirping away. This is the start of my coast to coast route challenge. and I'm thinking we're in for a couple of very good days, but before we crack on, I think it's about time. We went back in time and found out a little bit more about my challenge. So yesterday we traveled up to St Bees. <laughs> the starting point of my coast-to-coast -coast adventure. I've planned a 200 mile epic. Riding from the west coast, I shall scale the Lake District, cross the spine of the country, conquer the undulating hills of Yorkshire and finish in Robin Hood's Bay on the east coast. It's a wild route. I found bridleways that will take me straight up mountains and over England's most challenging terrain. Having spent little time in the hills of the north, this will truly be a journey of discovery for me. I'd originally planned four days to do this route. However, the producers had other ideas and halved my time. Now just having two days to smash the entire route. So two days is the challenge and it is a challenge. No time for error. It's going to be two very long days in the saddle, hard navigation and a battle of attrition. Luckily though, Garmin have backed me. They've made this challenge possible and have lent me the very best kit. For navigation, I'm going to be using the Edge 1030 Plus, which Garmin Boast has a massive 24 hour battery life. Perfect for the challenge. Well, let's find out, shall we? Into the wilderness, so it begins. It's warm though, I like it. The challenge had begun and I felt good. Leaving St Bees, I really didn't know what to expect. But when I saw in front of me mountains, it was epic. So there's a few daunting factors about this ride. Not the distance, the time it's gonna take. But when you see stuff like this in the distance, it puts it into perspective that you got a big old air climbing ahead. But Look how beautiful it is. 10, 12 miles in. It's a nice cruise. It's like the calm before the storm, I guess. Let's take a minute to talk Garmin then, shall we? Because the uh, battery is going to outlast me. So I'm going to see if I need to charge it at all over these next two days. I don't reckon I will, but even, worst case, should I need to, well then I've got this real clever little Garmin power pack that attaches underneath the Garmin mount on the front of the bike and charges it whilst I go. So, winner, winner. For the time being, I was now alone. I was going into the wild where the crew were unable to follow me. The landscape was so fierce, so ridiculously dangerous and steep, hiker biking was the only option. My fear was that all of the routes I'd planned would be this brutal. Yep, and I had done this to myself. So this is it then. This is the first hiker bike. I don't know how long it goes on for this one, but it's a fair old way. Push, push, push. It's hard going, we're, what? Let's have a look. 20.37 miles in, and I've been hiker biking and pushing downhill for about an hour now. It's really taking this toll and it's really killing the average speed, that's for sure. I'd planned to average about 12 mile an hour for the challenge, so this was a bad start. I mean, sometimes things, things aren't going your way. It's not too bad, but I hit a bog. <laughs> That's some disc deep bogging. Ooh. Whew. There we go. That's about halfway through the day. We're just over four hours in. We've been uh, just shy of 50 miles, 1300 meters of climbing. I feel all right. I feel good, but I feel it's time to uh, stop for some proper food now. I could do with some food, some sustenance. 
A quick sarnie, and I wish I could say I was back on the bike, but I wasn't. Okay. The phrase, bitten off more than you can chew, has come into my mind here. Yeah. I've just walked vertically up 800 meters. Oh, I'm really feeling it. I've been using the heart rate metrics to kind of to regulate things so I don't go too into the red. But it's more hiker bike and it's stuff I'm not used to. I mean, what I can be thankful for is it's a lovely bike, it's so blooming light. Otherwise I'd be really struggling. Oh God. We're nearly near the top of this one. This is tough. This is a tough challenge. To add to the equation, it was a scorcher. 25 degrees and no wind. A blessing and a curse, I guess. But the views from up high revealed the lakes at its most picturesque. It felt good to make some progress where I could, but it wasn't long until I was pushing again. It's hell of a steep, this one. I don't know if that shows just how steep it is, but this is tough. I don't think we're gonna make, a, make it all today. This really does just eat into the time, unfortunately. It kills the average speed. On the plus side, it's pretty spectacular up here. That is what I've just come up. There is still a lot to go, unfortunately. The, uh, but I am heading roughly up and over there. Battery life. I don't know if you can see that, but that says 62%. Battery's still going strong. Rich is not as strong. Have I got a story for you? So we've just come down from that massive mountain behind me. The Lake District is vast. I was under no illusion it was a small place by any means, but just the, the scale of it has caught me out ever so slightly. I've done about four hours pushing a bike. Uh, I don't know if this is my error on planning my route, but it's really eaten to, into our time hugely. We're at, about, we're at 60 miles and we should be at 90. The target today, well, that was about 1.15 and we ain't not making that because it's 10 past five. Um, so it looks like we're going to have to cut this day slightly short, put in another big day tomorrow. Yeah, it's, it's been, it's been a, a learning curve and some hard graft on my part, that's for sure. I've, uh, yeah, I've learnt, learnt a few things. But what I mean, you know, the show must go on. <laughs> And it is purely like a 
like a lot of the tracks were either that steep, so you just couldn't ride them. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get on track here. Hey, sheeps. Welcome to Kendall. I feel like I'm gonna get mullered at any moment. Should I get mullered? This is Rich Payne's vlog wheel. James, my brother, you can have a bike. Daddy can have a bike and all he needs it. Mother, she wouldn't want one. She can have the telly. Otherwise, grab what you want. That's the M6 motorway, cutting right through the Yorkshire Dales. Pretty cool. About four miles away, I was dying. And also, I've had to swap out my head, uh, head torch for the, the, the six pack one because it, it ran out of battery, so gave me a chance to get a quick snack in, but it's also starting to spit with rain, so I think we really need to motor on and get this finished. Four miles to crush it, but the legs, legs are suffering. Ninety one point nine three miles today. Man alive. Still off the battery. Crikey. That is uh, another sun up to sundown. We start at six. What's the time now, bud? Uh, Twenty past eight. Yeah. That's me goosed. Ready for some good food. But it's been a good day. It's been a, an eye-opening day, I think, is the best, best way of doing it. Some uh, valuable lessons learned. Just another war of attrition, but I enjoyed it. Stunning views, stunning landscapes. Lake District didn't disappoint. Through the Dales and onwards to the East Coast tomorrow then. Four days recovery. <laughs> Four days. Oh. Oh. So, day two. Today is another 93 mile day, which I feel good for. Tired. I slept well. I've had my brekkie, I've had my porridge. I've done nothing to the bike. So we'll give her a drop of oil. The old girl seems to work absolutely faultlessly so far. So let's have a little look at some stats. 48% battery. That was after a 14 hour day yesterday. So this thing's supposed to have a 24 hour battery life. And that looks bob on. Now, we've got my route put in. It's on Garmin Maps, which is gonna navigate me today again, luckily. And I know, unfortunately, from looking at the map, that I've got a big climb this morning. So I'm gonna use Garmin's Climb Pro feature to help tackle that, because it's gonna tell me how long the climb is how far into it I've gone, how far into it I've got to go, uh, percentage and the total ascent. So that's really good for monitoring that you don't push too hard at the start. But we did, let's get chipping on. So then, like I said, today is another 93 mile ride. This back to back pair of rides, if you like. The biggest I'll ever have done by a country mark. I'm not feeling too bad. My bottom's a little bit sore, and I suppose I'm just generally fatigued as you, uh, as you would be from such a ride. But otherwise, I'm in good spirits. Lake District 
district, Yorkshire Dales. When planning routes, here's a tip. It might say it's a bridleway. This is a bridleway, apparently. I don't know how we're gonna get through that lot. The hiker bike continues. Oh. The bit, when I hopped onto this gravel path for about five and a bit miles, it was so much obviously easier, but also my average speed went up by about a mile an hour, which is quite a big like jump in five miles. As you can tell, like just pedaling across all these fields where it says there's bridleways, and I'm sure there are, and it's all right if you're on an horse because you've got horsepower. I've got rich power. It's, I don't know if it's quite as powerful. Oh. 66.7 on the old Garmin scale of miles. So fair, fair chunk into it now. And it's been some different riding today because I didn't get quite as far as I thought yesterday. We adapted the route to be a bit more efficient, I think is probably the best way of putting it today. So we've really motored along and it's what, half two again in the afternoon where it's, like I said, 66.7. So we've made some really good progress, but we've got four big hills to tackle now, all the way to Robin Hood's Bay. Let us know what your favourite tea is in the comments below. I'd like to know, mine's Earl Grey, with milk. Controversial, and sometimes I'll have a dash of sugar. 70 miles in and I had my final proper pit stop for the challenge. What remained was the North Yorkshire Moors, a testing landscape, barren, windy, rugged, with punishing gradients. <sighs> This is a long climb, a couple of miles. The old contraption says we're going up the steepest bit, so that's good to know that it's soon over. Thirty-three percent hill to end on. You want proof? Oh, I'll give you proof. Oh, I, can't, I can't hold a GoPro anymore. Uh, the toughest one today. Thirty-three percent it maxed out at, and I've stood up for most of it. Yeah. That was really hard. Oh, I thought the last climb, or well, second to last climb, was the toughest. Coast to coast. Ooh, <laughs> oh. Robin Hood's Bay behind me completed it. 96.4 miles today, mixture on and off road, and I'm stoked. I'm so happy with myself. And do you know what's even crazier? Come have a look at this, Louis. Come look at this. So here's today's stats 96.4 miles. What's more mental, the Garmin? 2% left, that's been going for 26 hours. <sighs> I think that's it. I think it's time to ditch the bike as lovely as it is. In this great setting, we go get some fish and chips, put our feet up and take it easy. Thank you very much for joining me on my epic ride from one side of England to the other, coast to coast, and I'll catch you next time. I'm not even exaggerating, it's actually just really hard. <laughs>